Good morning, yarn tubers. Welcome back to Wanderlust Crochet. And I've got some mail, um, a little story about my crochet boxes, crochet society boxes, and uh, someone who contacted me about them this morning. Okay, so first of all, um, let's not save the fun stuff for last. Um, if I ever do that, it's just because that's the order my mind went. Um, okay, so this box, I love this bag, came from my friend Karen over at KB Fibers. I'll link her down below. And look at it. This is something uh, um, somebody gave me a few years ago. Thank you, Mike. I, I think it's a Harbor Freight thing. It looks like a key. It's got this tiny little, like, fingernail file of a knife on it. And it comes in so handy. And the reason he gave it to me is because, you know, I was training horses at his place and I was using a friction method to break the twine on the bales of hay. He's like, here, Dana, take this. And and, and that's, I the friction method always makes me feel so clever. Um, you take, so you get one piece of twine that's like, you know, it's, it's kind of a plasticky kind of twine. And you take one piece of twine that's already off of a bale and you slip it in underneath the twine that's still in the um, bale and you lift up both ends and you pull real hard and you do this and then the, the heat of it melts the twine and it just goes pop. <laughs> I just feel so clever when I do that because I'm so, I'm so smart, right? No, he gave me an easier way. So I use this now for opening mail and it's just handy to have on my keychain all the time. Uh, which, by the way, I'm getting a new keychain and, and, well, I got a new keychain and I am going to go through this mess. Ooh, look what I got from Karen. Oh, she's so sweet. She even sent me a note. Thank you for it. I'm so glad to. Oh, you know what, Karen? I am glad to. Oh, heck. Yeah. Heck yeah. <laughs> totally. Totally. I'm going to be drinking tea today. Thank you, girl. I sent her something kind of boring, but yeah. Uh, Wool alpaca KB fibers. So this is her yarn. I believe she... Correct me if I'm wrong, Karen. She spun this and she dyed it. And um, 204 yards, wool alpaca. Okay, see, I have never, okay, this is, you know, for all my crocheting, all the crocheting that I do that some people say I don't do, totally valid. Um, yeah, this is the same thing. These are beautiful. Look at the, this is like a... Aubergine, aubergine, how do you say that? It's this purpley kind of color. I mean, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful dye job. I love this. So, yeah. So, I want to make something out of that. So, you know, to 160 yards and um, 204 yards. Um, I'm, I'm going to show you guys... Um, a picture of the sunset wrap that I want to make for somebody. Oh, and my favorite hooks. She she has um, more specific taste in hooks. I love these. And let me tell you, oh my goodness, she sent me two of the 4.5s, which is the um, number seven hook. And um, because I love, first of all, the Clover Soft Touch. Right, this is the, oh, it's upside down, Dana, way to go. This is the number seven hook, the 4.5 millimeter, which goes right in between the um, um, G hook and the H hook. <coughs> G hook being 4.0, H hook being um, 5.0, plus a, um, a D hook 3.5, or 3.0. Yeah, baby, that's where I live. <laughs> <laughs> that is where I live. Thank you, Karen. I mean, this, these are spendy hooks. They're not furl spendy, but, you know, these are like eight bucks a piece plus ship, you know, plus shipping or plus tax or whatever. The um, D hook, the, um, she's used it so much that this, this little rubbery piece has gone out. And you would think, you know, after seeing all the ergonomic and the polymer clay and all of that, you know, that this wouldn't be 
comfortable, you know, ergonomically, I have found no problem, really. Okay, so the cardboard piece is going to get burned, and the plastic piece will be thrown away. And the um, names and addresses will be burned. <clears throat> That's how we roll here. So, thank you, Karen. So, I'm thinking about... Oh, let me see if I can bring up that picture. I... I should have brought it up ahead of time. Let's see, 204 and uh, and um, 160. What is that? Yeah. So there's um, a pattern called the Sunset Wrap. I believe that's what it's called. It's another one of Selena Baca's. Sunset. Whoops. Set has an E in the end. Sunset wrap. There it is. <clears throat> Beautiful. Okay, so this takes... <clears throat> so she's using, you know, the shawl and a ball for this. And I have shawl and a ball because I want to make these for, you know, the sh whole shawl and a ball project is still, still, <clears throat> you know, on the list. So 481 yards... Let me show you. Maybe I could make a small I I could make a smaller version of that, right? Or maybe something similar. Um, isn't that beautiful? Done in the um community coral color of the uh, Lion brand um Lion brand, you know, shawl and a ball. And she only used one skein of that. So <clears throat> yeah. So maybe I could do like a smaller version of that. It's wool, and I think somebody would really like that. Or maybe I could do like my, um, where is it? Right here. Like this looks like a corner to corner that was done in a very thick, chunky yarn. Thick, chunky yarn. We're going to talk about that. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, maybe maybe I would just do a corner to corner for somebody. I think it's got enough yardage to do that. I'd like your opinions, those who are more experienced in using like an alpaca wool blend and, um, you know, how, how much yardage you, you think it would take to either do a good size corner to corner with a beautiful border on it like this or a wrap. Tell me what you guys think because, you know, I am not a wrap, shawl, cowl, fingerless gloves, you know, that kind, you know, uh, that's not really my wheelhouse. You know, I like, um, like I have made corner to corner shawls. Like I made one for Sandra out of Karen Simply Soft with a really nice border on it. And she loves it. In fact, I'd like to get a picture of that for you guys. Um, it, it turned out really nice, uh, you know, just a four weight and it was all done in like a burgundy color of the Karen Simply Soft, you know, my color and you know it's got a little shine to it and then I just went around and did a pretty clean you know a little bit of a you know I do the single crochet first and then I did a little bit of a wave on the edges and she loves it and she just throws that sucker on the wash and the dryer and you know it uh, it's not as shiny as it was in the beginning but it is holding up really well so <clears throat> anyway thank you Karen for I mean this is a spending this is spendy stuff she just sent me, right? Not only you know, financially, but also, you know, in the time that she spent, you know, doing this yarn and um, the time she spent packaging it up and sending it to me, right? Thank you for your time and for your love, Karen. You are, you are so amazing. Okay, so, <clears throat> so I am selling like 10 Crochet Society boxes. I'm doing them locally. Um, and if, um, nobody, um, you know, if it doesn't sell, like I, I posted it on our local Gem County Hookers Facebook page. And then I, um, the group I started, the Treasure Valley, Oregon crocheters and knitters page, um, you know, I listed it there and a couple of the for sale groups around the Treasure Valley, seven crochet society boxes with everything in them. Still brand new. I did tear the little sticker and open the tissue paper because I got a message from a lady today. <clears throat> <clears throat> throat> 
And, you know, at first I'm grumpy because I just got up. Are you kidding me? You want me to go through all of these and see if there's a basket pattern in it? Let's see. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is getting looked at in two days. Is this still available? My daughter has a friend who is very sick. And she is looking to make her a basket for her recovery for after her next surgery. I think these are a cute idea. Can you tell me what you still have and an idea of what the project inside is? And I'm like, seriously, you want me to go, th you, you want me to go through all these? And then, you know, after I'd had my coffee, <laughs> I became a better person, right? <laughs> And I said, I'll see if I have time to go through them to see what the projects are sometime today. So, poop on you, right? Then I had a little coffee, got a little bit, and I said, like, like, like 20 minutes later, I'm like, I will go through them this morning. I think it would be fun to try to find a basket project in one of them. In the meantime, this project on Ravelry is a beautiful teaching project using baskets. The designer, Selena Baca, is a great lady to follow. It's three dollars but absolutely worth it and I showed her the, um, you know, this is the link to the, you know, I'm not a fan of Ravelry but um, um, I thought maybe that would help her. Thank you, that is cute. Thank you for the site info and I'm going to check it out. And then, um, she hasn't really seen them yet. I said, two boxes have baskets. Here's the first one. And I showed a picture of the, um, no, oh, good job, Dana. Um, I gave her a picture of the, you know, the basket on the inside the leaflet. And then I gave her a picture of what, you know, the box looks like. I mean, this one has like a little coffee cup in it. <clears throat> the second one is a modern take on a hanging basket. And it's, these are sideways, but I kind of gave more of a picture, oops, of the whole page. And, like, there's that hanging basket. It's, it is. It's kind of a modern take. And then here's a picture of the basket there. And I said, whatever you find for her, I hope she's able to make something for her friend. Also, maybe she could come to our next crochet, get together next month in Emmett. It would be at the end of June, and I will post information in the Middleton group. So... <clears throat> She can decide if, you know, she wants to do the, you know, the Selena Baca route is three bucks, right? And it's a great teaching project, you know, with the rounds and the, and the stitch counts. Love it. Where I'm selling these, please don't freak out. These are yard sale prices. I know they cost me upwards of $50 a piece, but I buy them to be gifts and then, you know, I just kind of, yeah, didn't happen. So we're having this yard sale, which is kicking my rear end, getting it ready. But um, I have seven Crochet Society boxes that are going in the yard sale. But I did post them online first. So I got that all going on. <clears throat> and then, where are my pitches? Where are my pitches? Okay. Gallery. So then, last night I got, I... Well, in going through all my clothes and my yarn that I'm going to sell, um, I came across the yarn. I do have every bit of yarn for the Moose Blanket project that is on my Scorched Earth Challenge list for this year. And it is Bernat Softy Chunky. Now, I... Seriously, chunky yarn and a 10 millimeter hook. You know, I did the chain and I did the first row and a half just and then throw it back in the bag so I can say I started it but I need to finish up I got Aunt Martha's blanket laying it actually I slept with it last night because yesterday I put it on the bed spread it out and then you know last night I was so wiped out I just got in you know in under the covers with that on it so I slept with Aunt Martha's blanket last night but I also you know played around with this buffalo check plaid and this pattern and I made sure I got everything in project you know my project bag and um, of course it's a carry the yarn kind of project and uh, this is actually for a friend over in uh, the Medford area southern Oregon so yeah I played a little bit with that starditis you know <coughs> so anyway we've got you know beautiful male and um, 
crochet society boxes and playing with that yarn. I, chunky yarn just isn't my wheelhouse. I'm sorry. It is not my thing. I like more defined stitches. I like the intricacies and a little bit more delicate kind of things going on. I like the hooked on sunshine blankets. I'll link uh, her um, website in the description box also along with Karen's um, YouTube channel. Ba 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 ba. I am feeling so good. I'm gonna do a. Um, I got a little update on the 50 gone by 2024 um, that I'm getting ready. I'm gonna do that video next over on. Excuse me, the Two Ponies channel. I haven't even ate this morning. I feel so good. Okay, okay. So there's some yarny stuff. You know, I, I yes, I crocheted for a few minutes last night, but we're talking black yarn. Um, dark, dark, dark red yarn, you know, and the light in the bedroom is not that great. I'm going to have to get something, you know, an ot light wouldn't work because it's, I, I need something that'll, you know, like a floor lamp or something. I, I'll be looking for something like that to put in the bedroom because the light in there, if it's not daylight outside and coming in that wonderful back window, um, the light in there is horrid. That's all part of the remodel, you know. We'll get that all taken care of. Okay? You guys have a great... What day is today? Tuesday? Have a great Tuesday. I'm going to have a great Tuesday. And I'll catch y'all later. I love you guys. Bye.